Jimmy is a former professional basketball player in the PBA, head coach of the San Miguel Ala Pilipinas basketball team, and was the assistant coach for the Sacramento Kings in the NBA Summer Basketball League. LJ is an actress, TV host, and owner of the Lolly Cake Factory. LJ and Jimmy Alapag are entrepreneurs, YouTubers, and a power couple. Whether they are on the go or spending time with their family, they give everything, they do their all, and that is what makes them the dynamic duo they are today. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of In Love With Me, where we feature inspiring individuals who will share their amazing stories. I am your host, Mafe Yunong Velasco, and for this series, our topic is dynamic duos. They say two heads are better than one. Simply, that is the purpose of our newest segment in which you will meet beautiful couples who thrive in their respective fields, but also together. So for our guest today, I have known them for years, years and years, and I've always admired them um, individually because they're successful in their own journeys, and even more so now, of course, as a, a power couple. And with their beautiful family, growing family, I truly believe they're movers and shakers of today. And that is the reason why I wanted to share them both to the world. Um, we have an empowered mom, actress, TV host, and the owner of Lolly Cake Factory. While we have an, also an empowered dad, Filipino-American, former champion basketball player who played in the PBA, Philippine Basketball Association, and also a successful champion coach. So together, they create... They make a great pair, and that's why we call them a dynamic duo. So without further ado, let's welcome LJ and Jimmy Alapug. Hello, guys. Hi. What's up, Mafe? How are you? Good evening and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Good evening. <laughs> good evening to you guys, because, of course, now um, everybody knows that you, you guys made a really big transition in the past couple of months, and we have obviously been following you guys on your channel and um, that's the way that we can somewhat connect with you even though we used to hang out every day or, or chat even. Um, America is a different life to the Philippines so I know how busy you both oh, yeah. <laughs> So I had to grab them guys in the evening in the States so that while the kids are asleep we can get to know them and be inspired with them and um, catch up on what they've been up to. But before that, um, can you both share a little bit of your background? I mean, I want to know more on your separate lives. I mean, I know I interviewed you both separately before, but just to give a refresh button to everyone on who LJ was before you met Jimmy and who Jimmy was before you met LJ. So maybe okay. ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. um, well, most of my childhood I spent here also um, in the States. So I lived here for when I was like, five till about um 15 15 or 16 so i moved to the the philippines um uh, back to the philippines 96 that's when i started acting because um my tita ness uh who's her screen name was Alma Moreno. i i lived with her and she's the one that actually encouraged me to start um acting again and because when i was younger um i was the i was her uh, I, I, like she's always wanted a daughter that was be way before winning came so she'd always borrow me from my mom and dad so I, um, I, I was exposed to that i was exposed to going to escaping to shootings and like i enjoyed it so every time we go on vacation there i do it and then when we moved there already i lived with her because my dad didn't want me to act like he wanted me to finish I think he wanted me to, yeah, he wanted me to finish at least high school before I started acting. But of course, um, I really wanted to um, act and Tita Ness encouraged me. So I did it. So my dad actually didn't talk to me for a year. But then after, no, not accepting it. It was a year. Yeah, but then he became proud of me. <laughs> and then we were all So as acting, I met Jimmy. I was acting until I met you. Yeah. Yeah. When we mm -hmm. met, it was like towards. Um, I don't know, my last year of college, yeah, was it yeah. almost? Yeah, my last year of college, which is, yeah, when we got together, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I, I laid low on, <laughs> yeah, my show, it was like, uh, towards the end of, um, 
or my show before with Jimmy, Puka lang. Uh, so I stopped acting for a while uh, to focus on my studies and then move on to teaching. But then um, a lot of things happened. We ended up breaking up. And then I ended up going back into showbiz because I did uh, Fear Factor. And then that just like led me back to showbiz. And then yeah, there was a time we were together for what, almost four years. Mm-hmm. And then we broke up. You know the story, of course. <laughs> and then broke up for um, about, uh, 14, 16 months. Oh yeah, you were eighteen. Yeah. I don't know. I think we broke up for about fifteen, fifteen months. <laughs> Doesn't matter, guys. You're back together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then and then we got back together. And then yeah, and then and then yeah, now we're together. <laughs> Jimmy first, wait. Then, wait okay, then, before we talk about when you guys met, um, go ahead. Oh, oh your your background. Well, um, you know, everyone knows that, that I grew up here in the States. Um, you know, went to high school, college here. Um, you know, was just super small in high school, like ridiculously small. And to be playing basketball here in the States, um, that's not a good thing. And so, um, you know, I was I played varsity all four years of high school, but I really only played till my, you know, I didn't play till my senior year. So um you know for the longest time man i was my first three years in high school even though i was on the varsity team because i was so small like a lot of times i was the kid that you know the crowd would cheer for when you're like losing by 20 and it's like hey put that guy in the game well that was me um and so finally you know my senior year started playing um but but even though i i played well my senior year i wasn't heavily recruited so i took the scenic route i went division three um university laverne um, thankfully, you know, my, my parents wouldn't let me play basketball unless my grades were good. So I got a lot of school grants, um, because they were non-scholarship. Um, you know, met, met a lot of great people at, at Laverne. Um, not, a, wasn't a, a very big fan of the basketball experience. So decided to transfer, um, went junior college. So I went back to a two year university. Um, it just gave me a chance to really not only work on my game, but, but just, you know, get stronger and just, just get better. And so. Things worked out. Um, I ended up signing at, at Cal State San Bernardino. And the great part about being at Cal State was at the time, I was only about 20 minutes away from home. So, I, you, you know, you guys all know I, I come from a big family. And so it gave it gave my family an opportunity while I was at Cal State to see all my games, at least all my home games. So every home game, man, we were like 20 deep from my, my parents, my brothers and sisters, my nephews and nieces. And that, that meant a lot to me. Um, and, you know, we were really fortunate to do really well. Um, I played really well there. And that, that really kind of opened the door um, to go to the Philippines. Um, you know, I came out in 2002, uh, was supposed to be in the draft. Things didn't work out. Um, got invited to train with the national team. That was going great. Uh, first game, I get hurt. I break my hand. And so it was almost like before things even had gotten started, I was injured and about – what six weeks later i was back in the states and so um finally came back in 2003 and that's where everything really started you know the you know my career took off pretty early um you know we we were fortunate enough to win a championship my my first conference um you know made the mythical team the rookie of the year and then you know elgin and i met and you know that was really the the beginning of our relationship you know your life was just amazing and then you know uh (laughs) <laughs> you know, well, but we were young, you know, we were young and, and you know, we, we, we both, I think, individually had had our issues. And so we broke up and, um, you know, eventually got back together. But you couldn't live without them. Of course. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, looking back, you know, I look back at a career, you know, the PBA for 13 years and been coaching now for four. Obviously, you know, things have been a little more difficult this past year. You know, obviously, everyone's been affected by COVID, um, but, you know, thankful, you know, thankful for, for my experience in the PBA, um, you know, got so much love for the Philippines because I know how much of a blessing it, it was on my life uh, personally, just how much I grew as an athlete, how much I grew as a person. And, and, you know, of course, I met my wife. We started our family there and, and met so many amazing people, you know, obviously like yourself and Nick and, and the family. And so, um, you know, a piece of our heart will always be in Manila. You know, we don't know, we don't know what God's plan will be for us in the future. You know, we're not opposed to going back, but we feel like for right now, being here, you know, is, is the best place for our family, especially our kids. You know, our kids, 
you know, really love it out here so far. So, you know. Especially because they were locked in for so long, the right? since the lockdown. So just being able to go out and go to the park and even go to Target. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so, rather buy, you know, rather yeah. buy, go to the grocery store, you know, stuff that, that kids their age should be able to do. And so, uh, you know, it's yeah. been an adjustment, you know, for sure. I, I, being being in the Philippines for 20 years and then coming back, you know, it's it's a big move. It's a big move for us as a married couple, as parents, and just as a family. But, mm -hmm. you know, we make do. So, so we're good. Yes, you do. And I have to go back. Jimmy, you are still young. So what are you talking about? We're still young, guys. We're all the same age. It's a fight, it's a fight every day, but I'm, we're doing our best. <laughs> But anyways, you know, you did mention that you uh, love spending time with your children. You know, I'm sure yeah. that they are the light of your life, especially now um, during this time. But when we're talking about pursuing passions together, what would be um, the things that you both love doing together? What, you want me to answer you? I think, you know, you know, my family, you know, because you're, you're a mother as well. You know, I mean, we've we just celebrated, you know, ten years, right? You know, yeah. in August, and you know, I think when you're when you're married for a long time, you you start to just find value and appreciation in little stuff because so much of our life, as busy as we both are, you know, in, in, in doing our own careers individually, you know, the priority is still our kids, and and you know, they're a handful. You know, we we love them with everything we have, but man, it's. You know, being a parent is the toughest job, but it's also the best job. So, you know, especially for us, when you don't have yeah, yeah, especially <laughs> the extra help. But, um, you know, we just kind of find joy. You know, like especially obviously because of COVID. You know, mm. restaurants have been closed, so it's like we'll go get takeout somewhere, and we just kind of eat in the car and just kind of yeah. talk we or find you know. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> or Where there's a little bit a few minutes or a few hours of peace yeah or i mean you know we're lucky because you know her, her mom's here so you know and the kids love being there because her mom has dogs so they love hanging out with grandma and hanging out with the dog so when, when they're there with grandma like it's funny you would think like okay like what are we gonna do we're we gonna go on a date we're gonna go this and we usually just run errands because we get so much done yeah. You know, it's like we need to get grocery shopping for the house, pay bills, whatever. And it's just like we can get everything mm -hmm. done in five or six hours. It's like, okay, we can go back and get the kids. And so, you know, little stuff like that. Um, no, yeah. But I mean, we, you know, when we do have quality time, obviously the kids are with us and, and being here, whether it's going to the beach. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we went to the beach and we just went for a bike ride, like literally on the beach. And Ian had his mm -hmm. bike and Elgin and I were, were both like, had like these like attachments to the bike where, the, where Ian and I mean where Keona and Kayon were just literally like hanging out in the back and just <laughs> you know I mean just simple stuff like that um yeah you know you kind of find joy in the simple stuff uh, as you get older yeah totally and then of course there you know I live there and it's similar to Australia you just do enjoy going to the park just walking you know yeah. walking the dog yeah. or or like that, the beach, I mean, the luxury of having those places. I mean, we do have that here in the Philippines too, but it's not as simple as just going on the street right now, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I love hearing your, your stories because it does bring back memories for me too. And I know we did do a lot of, um, I guess, out of town trips. You know, we, we had those moments with our group of friends. And now that you have your own family, it's like you're doing the out of town trips with your family like what you used to do anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So, Lisa, my next question, what do you like best about each other? Oh, you go first. Okay, well, of course, he's a lot nicer than me and patient. <laughs> <laughs> he's very patient, so there's a balance. Yes. Um, yeah, and like right now, like people are like, oh, how do you do it? Am I, uh, I'm just being here, especially when I talk to friends. They're really like, see, how do you do it? No helpers, no really. I'm like, I'm just thankful. Jimmy, like, really helps, and he's really used to the life here. Like, he's taking it upon himself to take over when it comes to laundry and folding clothes, and he helps with the kids. We're like, really, he helps with the kids. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm one of those 
we're one of those lucky ones that are we have a um husbands that are hands on dads because you know not everyone's husband's like that so that's that's one thing mm -hmm. he says. he's really hands on um with the kids and yeah gives them baths takes them he'll take all three of them sometimes <laughs> and then I, i'll be like sometimes what i have to take all three it's like what are you talking about <laughs> I, <laughs> I do it all the time <laughs> So yeah, just like um, yeah, he's and he's just really nice. Oh. <laughs> nice thing when I talk about. Nice, 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 one thousand percent pangai. Parang he just puts his heart and soul into it. Like when he was coaching, in galang minsan parang ano ba? Just na ang basketball, basketball, TV, basketball, sa laptop, basketball, sa TV, ay sa phone. Parang like he really, you know, he's really into that. And when he wants to achieve something, he'll put his heart and his mind into it. But, well, you know, Mafia, I think I think for 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 LJ, I, I think what works for us is just the balance, right? Like you know, she. Yeah she you know she's so supportive of of what i do and and you know i um, i'm adamant about doing the same for her and and you know i i just think lj's heart you know i mean you know she she's not very patient but you know with, i mean she just has a huge heart you know whether it's obviously our kids and and you know from from busy running her own business and and, and doing so many different things she she finds you know she, she's the, she does great at balancing making sure that i'm okay making sure that that our kids are okay and at the same time being so hands-on with the business and that's and that's not that's not an easy job i mean you know being you know being a, a wife and a mother is as tough as it is for any woman but running your own business and 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 trying to do other stuff um you know it, it's it's one of the many things that i admire about her and um you know i mean even when it comes to her family like she's She's always there. We, we both come from big families, and so seeing how adamant she is about making sure that her brothers and sisters are okay, and you know whether we're here or whether we're in the, in the Philippines, um, you know it, it just it just shows who she is. And you know, I I know I know I'm a lucky man, so that's why that's why the second time around, you know, we, we make sure. It works. <laughs> Yeah, like they say, you let it go, it comes back, it's meant to be. So right, it is absolutely. meant to be for the both of you. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I see that, you know, I admire the fact that you both do have big families. And not only do you take care of each other or your, your children, I've seen that even before you had kids. You guys were very so loving with your families, you know. Um, LJ, of course, I got to know all your siblings. Um, Jimmy, your parents, even your wedding. That was so much fun, guys. Like, that was the most epic wedding ever. Um, one for the books. Like, Nick and I always talk about it because it was just all love, you know, all positivity in the air, and everybody was there. So, no, that, yeah. you know what? Honestly, happy happy, happy 10 years. Thank you. You know, honestly, like, that, like, there were, there were certain must-haves for me. I only had three, right? So my, my three must-haves for our wedding were um, that the groomsmen and I, like, we had to be looking sharp, that that the food and, and the, the music and the drinks were, were going to be on point, and that the people who we loved and care about could, could be there with us to, to have a good time. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's like, for me, I, 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 that means so much to me. It means so much to me to hear like you or other people say like, man, you know, your wedding was so much fun. It was just yeah. love, love. I mean, it was. It was just us and having a good time and partying a little bit. You know, sorry, Ian just woke up. Um, but it's that's, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, okay. You know, that was, you know, that was just a, you know a really cool thing that it's been ten years and, and I remember just you know everybody being on the dance floor with family and friends and just yeah. having a good time. And, and, you know, I mean, that's how it should be. That's really what I mm -hmm. envisioned for us. I mean, you know, LJ wanted to, she could pick the colors and, and you know, the whatever else. But, you know, those were the must-haves for me. And, and I remember, I, I'll, share, I'll share a quick story with you. I remember we were taking pictures um, right after the ceremony, right? Like with the family and everyone. Yeah. And I remember all you guys were over there, like kind of on the balcony before they opened 
like the whole banquet hall, right? But the yeah. bar was already open. And I swear to you, man, all you saw was just like drinks lined up at the table. I said, I remember I looked out the hall. <laughs> oh man, everybody's having so much fun already. We need to, we need to get this started already. So yeah, it was, it was a really fun night, a special night for sure. Oh, super. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, if people really know us well, um, you made a more bigger cable car, more beautiful cable right. car right. in your wedding, because that, that was car. us. <laughs> it was cable car to the beach with family. Exactly. And of course, I have to add, like, your dad was the best, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, partner as my dancer thinking of dance partner on the dance floor he was amazing but um yeah so shout out to your dad and your parents and your families because they're so amazing and i do um see the value on why you guys are who you are you know uh, family is very important to both of you obviously and that is something that we see with your families uh with your family and then you know just watching your youtube channel i just have to say um, well done, Jimmy, on surprising LJ. I, I know you've seen it already, LJ, but like, wow, when we were watching it, I'm like, we can see Jimmy struggle, pulling all the kids along, setting up all the balloons while you were at the beach. I think with Markland's um, yeah, bachelor yeah. party. <laughs> that was funny, but um, yeah, I like that episode. So let's talk about like your visions, you know, your visions for your life. Uh, possibly there are more visions that you have in store for yourself and then for together. What you go first? Okay. Well, well, for for, for us, Mona, for yeah. us together. Uh, you know, I think you know, honestly, Mafia, I think I think for us as as a married couple, as a family, you know, it's been a big transition. You know, being being away, being in the Philippines for what twenty years, and then and, and coming back. I think. I think our biggest vision for our family is just making sure that you know that our, our kids are, are are growing up. You know, in, in a place that's safe, and in a place that they, you know, that they feel loved, and that whatever, whatever passion that they find, you know, I, I've gotten so many questions through the years, like, oh, you know, you're gonna, you know, force your boys to play basketball, and I'm like, hell no, like, if they love it, if they, I've already okay, somebody brainwashed one of them, but you know. But, <laughs> No, but I seriously, it before you came into this world, you know, but, be but but for me, I want I want our kids to you know to find their passion because when you when you can find that, then whatever it is that you love doing, you'll you'll put your all your time and energy and focus it. It gives you it gives you the best opportunity to be successful, um, and that's what mm -hmm. we want our kids, even with a slight brainwashing there on the side for Kaylin. Um, he likes it, and and he does. <laughs> he likes it. Um, I pray for that <laughs> and, and, you know, I mean, and, and I pray over him every night. <laughs> and uh, you know, I think I think just for you know, for us as a family, just you know, again to you know to to be to be together, to be happy, to be healthy, and you know, especially in these times, these strange times with COVID. Um, mm. And you know, I think for for LJ and I as, as a married couple, for us to keep growing and. You know, to be to try to be as successful as we can in what we do. Um, you know, you know, we have some projects, you know, here that we're working on um, that, that hopefully we can grow. And and you know, I'm still I'm still staying active in, in the coaching scene, even though again, you know, sports have really kind of taken a, a sort of a back seat, at least for right now with, with everything going on. I'm still staying active with that. Um, and, and you know, honestly, my favorite for me, and uh, you know, LJ will, will tell her side, but you know, for me this year has taught me so much because when when our season in the abl was canceled last year in march um mm. you know the first probably man five or six weeks it was it was really really tough for me to adjust because i'm so used to being on a move and and you know being locked into our season and watching video and getting ready for the next opponent and all of a sudden it was just like okay your season's canceled you know you're not going to know who won or lost and that's it you know, and, and and oh, and by the way, you can't leave. You got to stay home, and and it was, it was so tough for me to to accept that because I just you know my my personality was like no, you know there has to be a winner and a loser in this, um, and so it was it was tough for me. But I you know, I remember it, it was about a month and a half, and we were, I was and I were having breakfast, and she just came up to me one day and she's like, hey, are you all right? 
you know, and, and she knew I was struggling with it. And so I told her, I said, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm really struggling. And, you know, our conversation that morning really helped me change my perspective because, you know, she was saying, you know, it, it's okay to feel bad that, you know, the season was lost. And I was thinking, oh, all the late nights watching video and all, you know, the lack of – and I feel bad for my players and then my coaching staff. And, and she said, you know, it's, it's okay to feel bad about it, but you also have to understand – us being at home, you, you have all this quality time with the kids. And, and you know, Ian's eight, Kaylin is six, Kaylin's three. And, and when she told me that, it really made me take a step back a little bit and be like, well, mm-hmm. I would and, and study with them or, or, or so lunch with them. So um, that, that really helped me change my perspective and, and, and made me appreciate and, and find the silver lining in, in everything that we've been going through. Right. Yeah. You know, I was, you know, really, really thankful for that. Mm-hmm. Thanks for sharing that, Jimmy. I mean, I know that it has been tough for a lot of people and for you to yeah, be so. being honest of what you went through, you know, that that's, uh, it's amazing. You know, yeah. you're very inspiring yeah. of, of what, everybody knows that you've achieved and, but for you to give a reminder that, yes, I'm also human, you know, I can go through things that will make me not okay. Uh, It's also a blessing for others because there's a lot of people out there struggling. I mean, there's a lot of people, um, married couples, you know, yeah. For myself, a, a very, a very strong little person and and i mean it, it was just a weird feeling like man like i i really feel bad about this like i just it, it was so much out of the norm for what i was used to but again talk about it praying about it and really just kind of taking a step back and saying hey you know, listen there's there's a lot of people in the world going through much much worse yeah. things than losing a season and, and you i have your yeah, faith. i grew in my faith I, you know my yeah. family we're together we're healthy and so i'm like you know what let me let me let me stop tripping over here and, and be thankful for, for what I do have and, and, and that make was you know and, and make the most out of it. So you know that was that was big. Yeah, that is really huge. I mean, faith does play a big part of our lives, and mm-hmm. uh, that's another thing that I admire from you both. That uh, yeah, even before you left, I mean, I think you you both were already mentoring others. You were you know um, instilling or or acting with your 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 family, your actions. Um, was all God-centered, you know? So I love that, guys. LJ? Yeah. I said number five. <laughs> Future. <Yeah. laughs> <Sorry. laughs> yeah, for me, now, okay, well, he spoke about both <clears throat> like both of us, um, our vision for both of us, for our family. Um, with me, more like... Um, career-wise um like i didn't in the beginning i was like i probably won't bake as much when i'm here because i won't have time so i didn't bring most of my stuff but then after what a month about two months months, almost two months about two months yeah i started getting into it again and then i started getting into so as i was saying um business-wise here it's been booming even if i've been baking just like on the weekends but eventually um i want i wanted to i want to grow the business and eventually be able to bring because my staff like sila atabe staff and lolly cake they stayed with me from the beginning all the way till the time that we left and i told him I mean, just imagine if i could make it work here and bring them here and you know they'll be able to you know be able to save and buy their own homes in the philippines and so that's like that's one of the things that um I'd, I'd want to do uh, career-wise, like just basically grow that business so that I can help or we can help also to give them a better life as well. And that's why, you know, you know I, I wanted to make sure, make sure everybody, you know, you know these, these are, are like physical like calls. calls. You guys, you guys are, are celebrities, you know, separately, you know, separately, you know, separately, you know, separately you know, together, you are known as... Um, 
you know, you know, people in showbiz, showbiz or, or people you know, in the limelight. limelight. But I, but but I wanted them, them to see, to see you, know, you know, how you, how you, like, for me, 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 I've always, always loved our friendship. Our friendship. And, and I've always, I've always been inspired, inspired by your work. I think both of you. And just, and just how you respect, respect your staff or everyone. everyone. Like you like never, ever consider yourself above, above anyone. Anyone. You guys will really, really be, um, um, yeah, yeah. Teach and, and inspire, and inspire and just like, just like um, take time to get to know people. people. And those were the those values that I loved, loved um, in people, you know, and, 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 and in my and friends. friends. That's why in my circle of friends, you will see that I've known people more than 10 years. I've known people more than... Two decades now. Like, I think about. I think we have known each other for more than two decades. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, we we kind of grew to, up together. Of yeah. course, yeah. I you know Nick and I like grew our family, our kids oh, more than everybody oh. did. <laughs> but I've seen you guys grow as parents, and you know, looking back, I mean, what would be your advice to your younger self? Like, knowing what you know now. Oh gosh, younger oh, self. Gosh. I would have been smarter with money. <laughs> like back back then when I was still single and you know, I had mm-hmm. was doing a lot of movies, doing a lot of shows. If I was just smarter with my money, um, like because I made wrong investments, you know, before they were like yeah. pre-selling. I didn't know. I was young. I mean, I started acting. I was making yeah. my money at 16. So like it was just so that, that that's one of the um one of the things. It was I mean, I had a lot of fun. But I think I, I would have been smarter when it came to um, finances, which I'm applying uh, to now. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> um, I think I think for me, Mafe, you know, it was my my time when I got to the Philippines was, you know, didn't get off on the right foot at all. Like it was so bad, um, you know, from getting injured and, and just I just felt like man, a complete fish out of water, right? Um, but, you know, I, I think I would just remind my younger self just to, you know, stay the course and, and not get discouraged and, and that, you know, trust, trust your work ethic, trust your character, you know, trust your will and, 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 you know, things, things will work themselves out. And, you know, cause I mean, as you go through your career, whether it be in, in sports or, or any, any particular career, you know, you're always going to have moments where, you might doubt yourself you you know you'll 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 feel down but you know it's through those moments that you just have to just kind of keep plugging away and 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 not get discouraged and and you know continue to find motivation to want to you know keep climbing and keep being successful and um you know I, i think that's that's that would be my my message to to my younger self because you know when i first got to the philippines man it was it was not what i expected it to be that's for sure but yeah. it all worked out for the best. Well, that's a, that's the thing. I always share that with Nick. I, you know, we went through the rough patches or the challenges so that we can now inspire the youth. Now we can tell them, okay, you have to be really ready if you want to come out here. It's not just like, you know, um, those uh, holidays that you would take. Because yeah. um, I remember coming back here like every two years with my family. And it was like, oh, like fun and, you know. Um, of course, with the help and everything, like food's always on the table. Like when you go here to actually live here, it's not like that. You no, know, you have to work. be ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be prepared. You have to have a saving <laughs> at least, yeah. right? Yeah. But um, as you know, I, of course, I consider you guys a, as a power couple, and a lot of people do. And being a dynamic duo as our, you know, our theme. Do you believe that there's a secret behind being a, a dynamic duo? And if it's, if so, what is it? Because I know a lot of couples are struggling right now. A lot of um, people individually are also uh, either making their relationship stronger or they're like losing in touch with each other. So what yeah. would be your share in either a secret or possibly an advice for them? Number one would be um, put God first. That helps a lot. Like, so, like, we've had what was it one? One big fight, right? Really? Ma- ma- the major fight. I mean, it wasn't even like it, it's major for us because we don't really fight that much. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like, Maybe yeah, one. yeah. One big fight, but then I think like it could have been blown out of proportion if we didn't have God 
in the center, or like if both of us um, weren't strong in our faith, because could have easily been it's like, man, forget it. I'm going home. I'm going back to Manila. <laughs> I could be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It would have well, been. And that's because we can both be stubborn when, when we yeah. do. Yes, yes. But then, like, <laughs> that God, that talked to us, you need to pray. And then, and then, you know, once you start praying, like, we both, we both, because we, we're both stubborn. We both, we're both yeah. strong. <laughs> and, and I think one thing we found, Mafe, being married for 10 years, like, in those rare instances where she'll be super upset at me or I'll be super upset at her for whatever. I mean, whatever, whatever it might be, whatever disagreement we have, like we've been together for so long and like yeah. you know, we, we kids and it's like, you know, we've, we've kind of been through so much. It's like, it's almost like we can't be mad at each other too long. Like I, for, for me, I can be upset for, for at her for like a full day, like a full 24 hours. Like I don't need to see you. I won't talk to you. But then after I sleep on it, I'm like, I can't look yeah, you. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'll be like, you know, uh, you want to go grab lunch? You want to go grab breakfast or something? You know, because, you know, I, I think, you know, you get older, you know, th there's that rule, right? You hear a lot of married couples say, you know, you never want to go to bed and, and be mad at your spouse because you never know, right? You never know. No one's guaranteed or, or promised tomorrow. And so, you know, I think that's something right. we try to be mindful of. And, and communication. you know, and, and, and the, the communication we have, I think, from the time from when we dated to now is like, it's like a complete 360. I mean, you know, being being a man and, and holding on to a lot of stuff like I did back in the day. Now, shoot, I got something to say, my fam, I'm gonna tell it. Um, I'm gonna figure out whether she likes it or not, you know, but again, same thing with her. You know, she'll tell me something that I may not wanna hear or something I, I should hear. And whether I like it or not, she's gonna tell me. And, you know, you need, you need to be transparent like that because you know, I mean, it's gone past the whole um, assuming, especially yes. us women. You know, we like to assume. So they always ask me, "So what's the unknown what's the secret?" I'm like, I tell him if I want him to do something, then I tell yeah. him. Like, you can't assume. Uh, oh, he should have known that because, like, sometimes yeah. men just don't know. We don't. <laughs> and and honestly, I would. They just I would. like to us. We're like, well, hello. Why, why don't you know? But it's just like no. Sometimes they really just don't know. Yeah. So you Tell them right. and, and Mafe, I swear to you, I would tell her. I'd be like, "Listen, you over here assuming A, B, and C. <laughs> tell me, yeah. like, you know, I, I mean, I'll guess well, but I'm gonna get it wrong a lot. So, yeah, to avoid me getting it wrong, just tell me. And again, you know, it's it's funny. It's something so simple, but man, it works. You know, and and like I said, you know, we we've been married for a long time now, and, and got our family, and so you know, I want. I want my spouse to win and I want her to be successful. And I know she wants me to do the same. And so, you know, yeah. we work. Yes. I love that. Thanks guys. I mean, you know, everything you shared here obviously is from your hearts, you know, from your experience, from what you guys have built um, to the family that you have, uh, you know, obviously um, are, you know, your kids are your inspiration. So I know that, everything you do every second of the day uh, evolves around them. But your love for each other is truly what shows more. You know, it's not easy to, to like you said, it's not easy to um, not have that communication. And just knowing that, hey, I can trust you to um, accept what I'm saying without, you know, any like emotions. It's just you letting it out. And for me to also let it out and being honest with each other. I mean, yeah. I think, I can also say the same, like Nick and I have gone through so many roller coaster rides and you guys have been in most of those situations, but <laughs> hearing what you're saying now, it's, it's like that. I mean, of course yeah. our faith has also grown and I know LJ, you and I always talk about submitting to our husbands and not all our friends agree to that, but guys. Hey, that's their favorite word, what you talking about? I love that word, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know and my friend yesterday, you know, they say that happy wife, happy wife, happy life, right? All day. And my friend yesterday day. Sh shared with me, it's happy spouse, happy house. So it goes both ways. Yeah, nice like stuff. Yeah. yeah, me too. Like but, like so going into, I mean, you know, we, we talked about so many serious stuff and I know you guys need to get your rest because it's going to be another busy day for you tomorrow. I just wanted to end with a fun activity where we just find your strengths. Um, I was inspired by the book uh, Strengths Finder. So I just kind of 
tweaked it a little bit. So if you're game, all you have to do is give me a thumbs up and then I will share like certain characteristics or description on who ha who has that strength, right? So it's either okay. you give yourself a thumbs up or you pass it on to your okay. partner. Gotcha. Okay, ready? <laughs> it's no, like this good. thing on TikTok. It's like, who is better at what? Um, all right. But anywho, okay, so the first one I'm gonna ask you guys, who is the most organized one? <laughs> <laughs> who are you gonna point at me? <laughs> I organize in my head. I can't execute. <laughs> oh no! One second. All of a sudden, woke up. That's all right. You were too loud. Okay, wait. Well. Let me get him. <laughs> and this is what you call reality TV, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and these two are the a power couple. Super powerful parents. Almost done. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Of course, you guys all know who Kevin is from their YouTube channel. So here he is. It's late night. So don't worry, guys. I'll give you two more, and that's and that's okay. it. And I'll let you guys go. But I truly appreciate you. Kaylin's um, love language is physical yeah, touch. Yeah, we we found out at age three his love language is physical touch. And he wants like of it. It's got to be one of us. It's got to be one. Of us. Usually, her. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> like I don't know. If See, guys, you do. I had to hold his foot the whole time from the the you know, the the <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But again, we all love physical touch. I think when we we're a child, so you know, it's nice that you gave that tip. So parents get to know your kids now. I mean, they have a love language. And I, I learned during um, homeschooling, of course, LJ, you're a teacher, the, the learning language. Everybody has a different learning language. Yeah. So as you guys can see. All right, so the next one is stronger men mentally. Grab the guy, go to the maybe this one, maybe this one is Jimmy. He's stronger physically. Physically, that's him. That. Hey, but she gave you babies, so you have to think. I know. So I was, I was going to go that way. <laughs> All right. So we know this answer already, but I'll ask it again. Who is the more 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 patient one? Oh. <laughs> I told you you're going to be one. Sige na nga. All right. So who is the uh, who is most emotional, especially when you're watching movies? Like who cries? He's emotional. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the more emotional, emotional one. <laughs> All right, so who is the chef of the house? <laughs> yeah, LJ. She might be that one. Who is the more strict parent? <laughs> and who is the singer? Who's the singer of the house? Singer? Singer, yeah. 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 <laughs> and who's the dancer of the house? <laughs> of course, I see you. Hey, LJ, we're doing the same pop sugar. I love that Which one. one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Super good, right? <laughs> um, Anyways, yeah, was like, oh, I'm so YouTube that we have pop sugar. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. You know, again, I truly appreciate you guys. Maybe you have um, shout outs or announcements or any workshops or any projects that you want to promote right now so that everybody can tune in on um, your updates on your social media. Okay. Um, well, our YouTube channel, uh, we have new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I'm not going to give the time anymore because sometimes late na mina upload, but um, just every Wednesday and Saturday, a little family fun. And then Saturday, 9 p.m. Yeah, Saturday, 9 p.m. California, PM, California time. time. Sunday, 1 p.m. Manila time. Uh, we do Facebook Live on Alapag Family yeah. Live. So, and we also have Kung Now. Alapag Family Live. But, okay. Yeah. Alapag awesome. Fa yeah, sorry, Alapag Family Fun. Five. Because, <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. We're we're also live on Kumu right now, guys. So you can oh, say okay. hi to everyone on there. Yeah, right. so, 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 yeah to the Kumu <laughs> family. Awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to sing every week. 
You need to get the VA now. She's, she's sidelining as an agent now. <laughs> no, but we also have we also have some projects in the works, so stay tuned. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll be announcing that hopefully in the next uh, few weeks. Yeah. But awesome. you know, thank you for having us. Great to see you guys. Thank you. We miss you. I know. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, we'll Jimmy and Hillary. We're going to go to together. Or we'll listen. Of course. <laughs> well, if we visit you, let's go to, you know, yeah. if we can, like the, the wineries. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, sure. hey, you guys stay safe out there. Yeah, you guys stay safe out there. Yes, okay. likewise. So, I know, I know uh, love to everyone. Nick and then thank you, Nico. Direct Nico. Direct. Direct. Oh, he's there. <laughs> direct. Thanks, Nico. <laughs> we appreciate you guys. We miss you so much. And um, I'm very grateful that we had this conversation and the catch up. And I hope yeah. everybody on Facebook and Kumu, please follow the Alapugs. You know, they have amazing uh, videos that they, they just mentioned early on the YouTube channel. And also on Kumu, guys. So watch out yeah. for that. And I will for sure. I'll give you guys updates when I see their shows being streamed. So cool. thank you guys for watching Thanks, this Robert. episode. Thanks for having us. Love y'all. Appreciate it. Thank you. And you guys know what to do. Actions speak louder than words. And I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.